Hi, my name is Rita Brent, and I can't wait to show you around my hometown of Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson is the city with soul. You'll see. Let's go. Wow, look at what our farmers give us. And I know we have the best food in the country, from grandma cooks to fancy chefs to everything in between. In Jackson, we love to eat and tell stories. It is our deep-rooted storytelling tradition that is responsible for hundreds of well-known Mississippi writers. I don't know, I think, uh, Come on, let's go see if we can't find some good food and a story to go with it. What's up, what's up? Hey, Sam. Rita B, you made it. Of course I did, you invited me. So this is where you work? Yeah, it's the original Mississippi Farmer's Market. Nice. This is Terry Sullivan. He's our general manager. Hey, hey Terry. Hey, Rita. Hey, Here in Mississippi, we can grow up to 30 different fruit and vegetable crops. Up in Farms is a unique food hub, which not only supplies our local restaurants and grocery stores with the freshest available produce, but they also assemble these really cool farm packs that you can pick up all over town. Now that's some real F2T. Farm to table, baby. How would I go about getting it? Well, you would go to our website, it's www.upinfarms.com, and click on the Farm Pack tab, and then just go from there. It's very easy to sign up. Thanks so much, yeah, Terry. Thanks, Rita. I enjoyed happy. it. I'll see you guys. My good friend Mary Miller is meeting me for lunch. Mary is one of Jackson's youngest literary stars. She's been quite busy lately with her newest book, getting plenty of rave reviews. I'm sure glad she had a second to hang out with me. Congratulations on your new book. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, I heard you have a signing tonight. It is. It's tonight at Lemuria. Um, are you going to be there? Yes. Now, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm probably going to be late. Uh, I had a late night. I was at F. Jones so like 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh my gosh. You know, they used to have a band there, so I was partying. How come you never invite me out for these things? Seriously? <laughs> yeah. No. You know, I do not want to become a character in your book. All right. So I got to keep enough. a clean profile. Fair <laughs> enough. Where do you get the material for your books anyway? Well, Jackson's full of characters. And my parents are good material. My sister. <laughs> Um, Are they cool with that, being your material in your book? Uh, my dad doesn't read my books. What? Um, yeah, no. I've warned him. I told him there was way too much sex. Oh. Well, you got here, so he had to have sex at some point, right? <laughs> Where do you get your material? Well, I'm pretty much like you. I get my material from my family. You know, when we're at dinner, I'm constantly taking notes, waiting on somebody to do something silly so I can take it back to the stage. All right, I see y'all enjoyed Sound Mookie. Oh, yes, man, it was great. Thank, Thank y'all for coming. Y'all have a great day. All right, I'm stuck. Oh, you're so full, me too. Woo. I think we ought to walk this off. Bellhaven? Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, great. Let's go. Bye. I love walking past all these old houses. Yeah, me too. They're very unique. No house is the same. It's great that they've managed to preserve the character. Yeah, it's not like the suburbs. <laughs> and also, the neighborhood's full of famous writers and artists. Yeah, that's very true. Oh, I'm going to have a sweat. Me too. So how was it being a writer in residence at Ole Miss? It was really great. Yeah, I lived out on Grisham's old property. It's 80 acres. Who are you reading? Right now I'm reading a lot of Katie Simpson Smith. I just love her. I love her too. She did a TED talk. I heard she's in town for the weekend. You want to see? Oh, really? Yeah. Right. Yeah, let's go see. <laughs> Katie! Hey, Katie. Hey, we were just in the neighborhood. Thought we'd stop by. Nice. I'm just eating some leftover pizza. Hey, we're welcome. Do you want to come with us? Can I bring my pizza? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Awesome. Walk in. Yeah. I love the fact that you can just be walking around Bellhaven and come up on your door at Wealthy's house. I've never been, actually. You Ooh, have nice I right know, I corner. know. I'm a loser. Oh my gosh. There's so much to do in Jackson. I know. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Adora Wealthy house. Have any of you ever been here before? Yes, many times. I trespassed in the garden once. Uh-oh, we will have to hear that story later. I'm coming to get educated. Thank well, you. this is Miss Wealthy's home, which was built in 1925. 
She lived here from the time she was 16 until 2001 when she passed away. So in 1986, Ms. Swelty decided to donate her home to the Mississippi Department of Archives and History. So it's one of the most intact literary homes in the country. How special is it to go through Miss Welty's home with my two famous writer pals? The house is just as she left it. Her books, her photographs, and even her this typewriter. This is Welty's bedroom, and this part of the house would have been pretty private. No my favorite part is her garden with the camellia bushes. Some of them she and her mother planted together 80 years ago. Y'all feel free to walk around and explore on your own. Well, I'm going to have to come back because I've got to go to Lemuria for my reading. All right. Okay. Bye, Isabel. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, you for the tour. Katie. Yes, thank you. Bye. Hope you enjoyed it. The best bookstore in Jackson. If you come to Jackson, you won't want to miss a trip to Lemuria, one of the best independent bookstores in the country. And its venue for book signings by authors range from President Jimmy Carter to John Grisham. It is a Jackson landmark, and it's so exciting to see Mary in the spotlight. The eight rooms in the shelter are identical, but decorated with different lamps and bedspreads, different pictures above the beds. I finally got the invite to a weekly potluck dinner hosted by several of Jackson's hottest chefs and entrepreneurs. Mary and Katie lucked out and were able to join me. I know, I had to wait for my mom. Jackson has plenty of delicious old school restaurants to enjoy, but what excites me the most are the new chefs who are constantly widening our cultural food experiences. It's just something about right. food in the South. I mean, we have our own identity when it comes to food. It bridges so many things. Like in the South, we're like, oh, somebody had something, here's some food. Or, you know, oh, we're so sad, here's some food. I feel like it's our families that not only teach us how to cook, but that teach us how to share the stories about food mm -hmm. and about ourselves and our family. I feel like it's inherently like a Mississippi kind of value. I think food can break barriers. I mean, I've had some pretty heavy political conversations over food, but then when dessert comes out, it's like, hey. <laughs> you know, diverse with the people that you talked about being in Jackson, you know, even this table, we've got a ton of food from all over, and uh, I love that part. Two sisters from Argentina. Has it, has it been a, a complete culture shock being here in Mississippi, or have you found it kind of easy? Uh, no, it, at first it was, it was, yes, it was a, a bit of a shock, uh, but we were excited to bring something completely new and exciting. All the pastries we make are French-based, um, but we are from Argentina, so they have a Hispanic flair to it. Now, you know, people think about Mississippi, they typically think that our food is unhealthy because it's salt food and salt food, but I disagree. I had, had, you know, frozen vegetables until I got to college. I grew up cooking uh, with, with my grandmother. Uh, that farm, we had a garden in the back and grew everything fresh. I fell in love with it, and so I'm, you know, in the kitchen every day. Every week, I talk to my grandmother, and she's eating pig feet. Really? <laughs> Shitless. <laughs> you know, nothing normal. When folks visit here, they leave talking about the soul food or, you know, stuff like pig ears. Okay, I haven't tried a pig's feet or ear, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> or those eggs that you see in the gas station. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was <laughs> Hey, I don't care where you are, don't eat those ever. I heard Piggy Wiggly has, um, a, a squirrel brains. Yeah. I don't know if that's true yet, but that's what yeah. I've heard, and I want to try those. Yeah. <laughs> squirrel brain is, is, is really a thing. Yeah, stick yeah. with the pig ears. Oh my God. Yeah, stick all right, so this is not a food question, but I'm just wondering, where did you get your hair done? Because yours kind of looks like mine, but that <laughs> Like I said before, young or old, we Jacksonians love but to actually, eat the and to laugh and to share yeah, our really stories. Boomerang and her steak and potatoes. That might be Thank you.
now I'm gonna have something to snack on. Yeah. Going to the Pearl River in the morning for some canoeing, so wish me luck. Yeah. Hope the alligators don't get me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just get a couple of these. Are you gonna get every color again? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you, how about I just take all of them? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, do not do this without me again, okay? No. All right. Sorry,